What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing... <laughs> Today I am basically showing you what type of nails I use when I film my videos. I will just kind of let you guys know a little bit more about me. I work for In-N-Out Burger. I am a store manager. I will be hitting my 18 year anniversary with In-N-Out this July. Working for In-N-Out means that I basically can never have fake nails or wear nail polish at work. On my two days off a week before I actually started filming YouTube videos and things like that, I would never be on my day off putting on nail polish or going to get my nails done for a day and a half. It just never really made sense to me. So there was probably like a very, very long time where I didn't do anything to my nails whatsoever. Since I started filming YouTube videos, I just did not want my ugly bare nails to be showing in these videos. One day I was at Target or something like that and I was looking at like eyelashes and right next to the eyelashes were a bunch of press on nails. Oops. <laughs> and I thought to myself, why don't I freaking try that? Because there's different types of press on nails that you can get. You can get ones that you use glue to put on or they just have a tab that you pull off and then you just press them on and they stay on. I bought like two packs and I tried them out and I was blown away at how good they actually looked even though they're just a complete press on nail and how easy they were to take off like once I was done filming or when I was getting ready to you know take them off because I have work the next day. That was probably beginning of October when I found out about them. I have been using them ever since. Well when I film I typically film on my days off. I try to film at least two videos in one day and then have my other day off to do you know errands, clean the house, whatever else I gotta do. And I would be able to keep those nails on for my full two days off. Sometimes I work evening shifts my damn phone. Sometimes I work evening shifts and that means I work from 4.30 p.m. to 2 a.m. basically and if I'm feeling it that day I'll wake up early and I will try to film a video that morning to be able to just get more videos in. And I will put press on nails before I film and then when I'm done filming and I'm getting ready for work I will then just take them off and then go to work. Sometimes these nails uh, are good for me for two days, sometimes they're just good for me for a couple hours. They're not that expensive, they range from six dollars to eight dollars and you get like a pack of 30 nails so I can literally get two full manicures with one pack and honestly, that is worth more to me than me trying to paint my nails because I'm right-handed, so my left hand will always look okay, but my right hand, just no thanks. I feel like it takes way longer for me to try to paint my nails and have them looking cute for my days off rather than just pressing these nails on and boom, I'm ready to go. I'm going to show you guys a couple different packs of nails that I have and then I'm actually going to show you how I put them on just so you can kind of get the feel for it, a little demo action for you. We'll just say my nails look really really bad right now and that is because I went on vacation, well I'm still technically on vacation but I was using these extra days to be able to film. 12 days off of work I was like I I want to get my, my fake nails, I want to get acrylics on and I just want to have them like done done done, ready to go for the entire time that I was on vacation. I did go to Costa Rica. Guys, if you haven't been there, you have got to go there. It is amazing in that country. Earlier today, I just started picking them off and I didn't do it the right way. I didn't soak them in acetone or whatever and then like try to pick them off. I just literally took my little nail file and started picking it up and like peeling them off and it did peel off a lot of layers of my nail and they're just looking super ratchet right now. I knew that this was going to happen and I always tell myself like don't get the acrylics. You know what you go through afterwards trying to take them off and then your nails look like crap for at least a couple weeks afterwards. I should have listened to myself again this time because I'm back in that same position and whatever but I did it and here we are here's my box of like all my different 
kits, I guess you would say, that I have. I have this little plastic container of like all my leftover nails from the past, literally from the past three months since I've been using these. And we just have all different kinds. I'm just going to save them because maybe one day like I'll just throw on a bunch of different ones and who knows. And then in this little container I have, oh there's hair. Um, I have like glue for some of them because some of them come with glue as well as having the little tab that you can put on and then little nail files and little picks or whatever. Just have those just to keep all the extras. This package is literally one step so it has a little plastic piece that you peel off and then you literally just press it on. There's other ones that like I would say these they'll have the glue. They will have another tab that you can peel off put it on your nail and then put the nail on. But I find that these ones that just have the tab on it and you can just peel it off and then stick it on your nail um, is a lot easier and faster and I'm peeling these ones right now so we're gonna try out these and it comes with a little cute jewel thingy on the end so let's open this up. I think this one was probably seven dollars so it comes like this. It just has a little thing. It has a prep pad that like you clean your nail off before you actually start applying the nails. It comes with the little file thing right there. The instructions, step one through whatever step. Here you have all the nails in here. This one comes with like a little jewel. I know you can't even barely tell now. Um, and then it comes with these little sticky tabs or whatever that you put the sticky tab on your nail and then you put the little jewel on top. The actual nail right here comes with a little tab right there that you peel off and then you'll just press down on your nail. You don't want to just peel the tab off and then try to put it on your nail. You want to find the nail that's going to fit perfect for your nail and then peel it off and then put it on obviously. Okay so here is a good one for my thumb so I'm basically just going to peel off the little plastic piece and then I'm going to literally get it where I want it centered on the nail and then I'm literally going to press down hard for about a minute. Now I will say sometimes I encounter them falling off, sometimes I encounter them not falling off. Um, what I have noticed if I don't take the um, one full minute to press the nail on your nails. That's when I experience them falling off, especially if I say I put them on and a couple hours later I'm eating greasy foods with my fingers, that is definitely when they will fall off. If I don't press it on long enough, I go wash my hands or whatever, then they will get wet and loose and end up falling off. So the key thing here is that you take the time, the whole minute, just to press the nail on. This will last quite some time. I do have a couple of friends that since um, I've been using these that they have actually gone out and bought themselves some press on nails. They really love it and one of my friends Christina she's like you gotta do a tutorial on it so here I am. Thanks Christina. This one um, it doesn't fit for my index finger so I'm just gonna use it for my middle finger. Taking the little plastic off, place it where we want it. I'm really not flipping you guys off I swear. I'm just <laughs> pressing the nail on. Just like so. Found my index finger one. Again, just peeling it off, placing it on my finger. Nice and centered, looking even. Press and hold, and press and hold, and press and hold. <laughs> one of my friends, Denise, I think the last time I saw her and she was wearing them, she had had them on for like at least a week. So you know that girl spent some time to really press on them and, and keep them there. Alright, we got my ring finger. Once you start getting the nails on it's a little bit harder to get the little plastic piece off but that's alright. Once again we're pressing and holding. There we have a full nail. Only took like a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes. Now I'm going to show you because these ones come with like a little jewel. It's just like a little extra step and I just think it's so cute so why not. I'm just going to peel off this little plastic piece and I'm going to put it on my ring finger right in the middle. You're going to press and hold. The plastic piece will come off. I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to put this little princess crown thing on there right on top. Make sure it's centered the way that you want. Like that. Press and hold on this one as well. 
We're gonna hold it for a good minute to make sure that it stays. I've worn these ones once before with putting the jewel on and I did have a little trouble the the jewel fell off and maybe I didn't like hold it down long enough. Just be careful with these. The little jewel might fall off and then you can just peel off the sticky tab that's on there so and then the nail's still good and you can still wear the nail. But I just think it's like super cute with the little thingy. Oh my god, how cute! Now that that's on there, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this hand real quick. Alright guys, both sets of nails are on. Once I have both nails on, I just take a little filer that comes with it. And it's okay that the paper stays on it. And there's like the little, like not nicks, it's just not very smooth on the very tip. I just take the filer and file it down so it's smooth. I don't have to do the whole nail, I just do where the little piece is that kind of sticks out. And this only takes a minute or so. Just like that, I have a full freaking manicure that look pretty damn good if you ask me. Perfect for those Instagram photos, you know what I'm saying? I can peel them off in an hour, in a couple hours, and two days when I go back to work. They just work out perfectly for me. I think they're faster, cheaper than trying to go to the salon and get your nails done. I mean, how much does a bottle of, of nail polish go for these days? I mean, it's basically the same price. They range anywhere from six to eight dollars, like I said before. That's literally the time and half of trying to paint your nails, okay? I forgot to tell you guys what brand this is. So this is Impress. I've bought some on Amazon, but I just go to Target and get them from Target. I also live right next to a Kmart, and I went in a Kmart one day, and I saw a bunch of them, and I probably spent like 20 something $30 on a bunch of different manicures. As you can see, my box is pretty freaking full, and then my sister got me some for Christmas, so I'm pretty stacked, and then I have like all of these that I can make many uh, manicures with. I also forgot to tell you guys that if you ever need a pedicure and you don't have time to go to the salon and you don't like painting your toenails because you're not good at it, like me have toenail ones as well. Can you believe it? And I've actually worn them. They actually stayed on my feet for maybe a week if not more. And they kind of started to fall off and then I just peeled them off. But if you need a quick pedicure and you don't have time to go to the nail salon and get it done or you don't have time to paint them because this again it's half the time of, of if you're having to paint your own toenails. And they have a bunch of different cute ones like these are just like the French manicure and then we have some hot pink ones and I've worn them too and they work out really well. You cannot even tell that you have press on nails on your toes you guys I'm telling you same price range six to eight dollars depending on what uh, brand you get and this brand is called kiss I just want to show you guys like all the different ones I have so these are like a copper goldy bronze color with the glitter for your accent nail there's some like cool green ones you know whatever the maroon color right here they have all kinds of different ones you guys like go to your target check it out um, if this is something that you're interested in they have long they have short they have like the little oval the point kind you know, all kinds of different stuff for you to be able to choose from if you don't like to spend that money on getting a man care getting some gel on your fingers or you need something very quick easy cheap this is this is the way to go I promise you you will not regret let it. me know down in the comments what you guys think have you ever tried press on nails from the store let me know your thoughts I'm very curious you obviously know my thoughts I love them and I will continue to use them I'm so glad that I found out about them after my manicure today I do have at least 20 nails in here to do a full manicure again I just won't have a little jewel that's on top if they don't fall off and I can save it and save it for the next manicure then I will Yeah, this wraps up this press on nail informative demo tutorial thank you guys so much for watching please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video bye